Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 15b, where I'm going to be doing a continuation of functions, but this time we're going to be doing callable strings. So let's set up some function. If you remember from last tutorial, I went over the very basics of functions. And what's going to be different is we're going to be calling this function a little bit differently. Normally, you remember there was some function like this, and that's how we'd call it. But this time, we're going to say that string name or some variable that is a string is going to have the title of some function and we're going to call the function like so now. So it's exactly the same as if I was doing this. However, I'm just using strings and putting it right here. So now it's string name, which equals some function. So let's do a quick hello world example. So we're going to put string type string, which is going to be input 1, and input 2 is going to be string, type string, and just to show you we can have as many of these as we want, I'm going to put another one, which is going to be another string. So we're going to print string plus string 2 plus string 3, all right? But what is string, string 2 and string 3? Well, we define that right here. If you recall, uh, recall it's very similar to the function. Um, our last video function, so we're going to have hello, then our next string, string number two, we're going to have a space, then we're going to have world, and right here we're going to have exclamation point. All right, so now it's going to print out all these added together, which is going to give us hello world. So remember, this goes, this is assigned to this one, this one's assigned to this one, and this exclamation point's assigned to string three. So it's going to print hello world. Now what's cool about callable strings is actually you can assign the return type to a variable. You remember we went over return very briefly in the last video, so we're going to have an output type of string. And also just to show you real quick, if you put void here, it works just as well. Because we don't have any return type. So um, let's return a type string. So we're going to have return right here. And then this is what we're going to be returning is string, string, string. And this time we're going to say we're going to print, right, where print is going to be equal to, so we're assigning a variable equal to the output or the return of this function. And it's very important in brackets that you put the same return type right here as right here. So let's do that and let us print out print, which is our variable. So actually, I'm going to remove that real quick and paste it, show you it does nothing, but it works. Now when I put the print command with the variable print, which is the return of the function, and it's a lot to take in, now it prints hello world. Now remember, we can also do this with numbers. And um, I'm actually going to change this to type number, and this time I'm only going to put two input values right here. So remember, this must match this. And instead of calling it string, I'm going to call it num for number, and num2. So our num is going to be 1. Our num2 is going to be equal to 2. And right here, we're going to have the mathematical function num times num2. So it's going to be 1 times 2, which gives us 2. So let's print that out. There you can see it gives 2. Or I can give it, or I can put a. 2 times 2, and we have 4. 2 to the power of 3, we'll get 8. So you can do all kinds of mathematical operations here. You're not really limited at all what you can do in this return type uh, when it comes to numbers. But that's going to be covering the basics of callable strings. And um, in the next video, I'm going to be doing one more video on functions. Until then, I'll see you next time.